Hello, my name is Oleg Timofeev. I'm originally from Moscow, but, uh, but I'm an American citizen living in Iowa. Uh, I proudly call myself a Fulbright veteran because uh, I was many, many times supported by this wonderful organization. In 2001-2002, I got my first Fulbright to teach in Moscow, and in 2009, I received the Fulbright uh, to teach and do research in Ukraine. That was so successful uh, and so interesting that it was also extended by one semester. So uh, I spent a year and a half in Kiev. I traveled all over the country with the help of, um, uh, of the then director of uh, Fulbright Ukraine, uh, Miran Stachyp. I had a tour uh, with the flutist Jeff Cohen, and we we traveled in I think nine different cities: Odessa, Lviv, uh, Uzhgorod, uh, etc. In addition, of course, I taught, and uh, I also made uh, uh, contact with uh, Ukrainian musicians, and those musicians were so interested in the history of their country. Uh, that they kind of passed to me also completely different world outlook. I just realized how much my Soviet education uh, was chauvinistic, how little I knew about, uh, you know, the Ukraine's past. And it was fascinating. I discovered the world of Ukrainian folklore, the world of Ukrainian epos, uh, such as uh, the famous Bumy, and it was just something eye-opening. Sabina Goetz and I, it's called Mri Promenule, or The Dreams of the Past, uh, which also was shown in many places, was rather successful. Uh, the ensemble that we, I founded called uh, Sarmatica, with uh, Kiev musicians, uh, we actually recorded a very successful CD. At some point, uh, we went on tour to Lviv Early Music Festival, and at another point, we had a little tour of Russia, we went to Moscow and Kaluga. That was in 2012. Right now, it's almost impossible to imagine, but at the time we had stunning successes, you know, audience was completely ecstatic and, uh, you know, the dream of some kind of Cossack world that they didn't know <laughs> was, was very exciting for, for the Russian audience. Um, the idea of the ensemble was crossover between, uh, between uh, Ukrainian folklore and European Renaissance, and that was, you know, worked very well. I was uh, invited to uh, judge a competition at Dnipropetrovsk, and uh, now simply called Dnipro, and um, uh, and I was again supported by Fulbright Senior Grant, and this time uh, it was in exactly in December 20, 2013, so I was able to walk on my dun and uh, take some footage with a like very small camera, and then uh, that was also an eye-opening experience. Uh, upon return uh, to uh, Iowa, uh, I began to teach a course, uh, Ukraine, a country at the crossroads. And, you know, to use the expression of Timothy Snyder, uh, to make Ukraine real. So, in short, I want to thank Fulbright Ukraine for supporting my many projects, many times. Uh, and uh, I just, you know, would like to come back. Thank you.